Hello everybody, it's Pat, Pat One here. And I just unboxed my Skinami. Let's get it installed. We're gonna have to follow these here steps. Make sure your device is turned on. Just power it off. I got the Nexus 5 here, so you're just gonna press the power off buttons. And turn here it goes, powering off. Next step, wash your hands thoroughly and wet your fingertips. That's just to get off any excess dirt or anything like that. So I think I will oblige. Okay, them hands are washed. So now you're gonna use your link free cleaning cloth to clean off all your slime, your, your dirt, your fingerprints, and everything else. I'll give you a quick look at that. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it's got the Skinami symbol on there, which is pretty sweet. Okay, so here is my Nexus 5, and I'm just going to wipe away all my fingerprints. Don't be afraid to you take your time. Once you think you got it all, go to the next step. Orient your screen protector how it's going to be. Okay, you just go down there like that. You're going to give your fingers a spray. Ooh, it smells good. That's improvement from the iPhone 5s. Now you're going to spray the front of this one and you're going to give it a good peel up. Hold it like so and give that side a good spray down as well. Align your holes with your holes. Okay. Now this could take many, many times. If you don't get it right on the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, don't worry. You can move it around as much as you need to. So take as much time as you need because if things aren't aligned correctly, it's not going to look good. And if it doesn't look good, then what's the point? So yeah, you are now able to move it in whatever direction you'd like to, up and down, left and right, however you would like to, peel it up, put it back on if you need to. I'm just ever so slightly moving it, making sure my front facing camera is exposed and all my other sensors. And it should be good now. Now I'm going to use my spudget and push out all the excess solution. Here's my spudger. Nothing special. Just feels like an eraser. Alright, and we are just going to push it. Ow. Now my experience with the iPhone 5s. It does look like it for the when you put it on, so micro bubbles, streaks, and imperfections will go away within the next couple of days after you've gotten all the excess solution you can out. Dab it around and wipe off all the excess solution with your lint-free cloth now. You get all the solution that you might have missed. Okay, you can still realign it because when I was spudging it, it moved it quite a bit. Okay. Good. If there's significant dust under there, like I said, you can go go over and do it again as many times as you'd like to. Just use the application solution to peel it up and peel it up nice and gently and slow. Obviously, don't peel this thing up when it's dry, dry, because that will cause stretching. Okay, now that you've soaked up all the stuff from this, you are now going to lay your phone to rest for 12 to 24 hours after the installation before turning your device back on or touching the screen whatsoever because if you touch it right now it's gonna move all over the place and just ruin up the whole installation process so don't use it right now don't touch it don't do anything with it this is probably best to do when you're ready to go to sleep just do it right before then and by the time you wake up it is probably gonna be ready or if you really want to go the extra mile don't take it to work the next day let it sit some more and then you'll probably be good. Just don't use it right now because it needs its time to set and stick to your screen. It just needs time to set, you know, get comfortable. Bam. All right. Thank you for watching. If this content helped you out, please leave me a like. Subscribe for the latest in tech, for the latest and greatest. And I will see you later. Please. Oh, look at all those videos you could watch. Maybe you should click on one.